Are you looking for free college credit? If so, you might wanna watch a different video, but if you don't mind paying $5 per college course, then this video is going to make your day. We're doing a review of Sailor Academy, and essentially, what we're gonna be talking about is how to earn their credits, what kind of credits they offer, and what schools will accept them. You might finish watching today's video with a plan for earning 15, 30, 45, maybe even more college credits for as much as you spend on Starbucks in a month. And as always, if you want help earning those credits, figuring out which ones to take, which school to send them to, which major you should earn, sign up for a consultation with my team at a link in the description down below. We often help people save over $35,000 and two to three years of their lives in just a 40 minute session. Sailor Academy was founded in 1999 by an entrepreneur named Michael J. Sailor. But in 2008, they switched their mission to be focused on providing free alternatives for higher education. And essentially, these days, they offer almost 100 different college and professional level courses, some of which some colleges will accept for college credit. Earning credit through Sailor is incredibly similar to earning credit through Sophia or Straighterline or Study.com. It's essentially a third party course provider with a final exam. And if you pass the final exam with enough credit and enough of a score, then they will vouch to colleges like, hey, you should give this guy credit. It's completely up to the college whether they're going to grant you the credit. But you know, if the college has already said, hey, we partner with Sailor, then you don't have to worry about it. As you can see on this screen, they have a ton of college courses to choose from. They've got a lot of business courses, business being one of the most popular majors. We've even got some science courses, some computer science courses, uh, English, English as a second language, history, some humanities, math, philosophy, political science, and then some professional development courses that are probably meant more for people who are working a job and their boss wants them to learn how to write grant proposals or write a resume or something. Now that I think about it, if your boss wants you to learn how to write resumes, <laughs> it's probably not a good sign for your future at that company. So don't take that assignment. Let's say we jump into Business 101 and we want to take a look at what it looks like. This one is one that Sailor has said we recommend college credit for. They offer a free certificate, and then they also say that this course should take about 62 hours. When you consider, when you consider that like the institutional standard for how much time a college course should take is expected to be somewhere around 144 hours, but is usually not quite that bad, 62 hours for one college course is actually pretty good. That would be like three weeks at three hours of studying a day. Once we're enrolled in the course, you can see that it's very, very similar to Sophia Straighter Line. Um, they list their different units. They even give the number of hours they think each one will take. Um, for this Business 101 course, they're expecting five units, and they have a study guide for the final exam. They, you know, want some feedback. There's a certificate, a free one, where you take a, a test, and as long as you score 70% or higher, they will give you a free completion certificate. But if you want actual college credit, your test taking has to be proctored and so you have to pay $5 only, which is a steal of a deal to be able to take it. And you can take the test up to three times as long as you have a two week waiting period between each. Um, you'll need to earn a grade of 70%. And as long as you do that, they will vouch to colleges, hey, this guy or gal has earned college credit. Now, different courses on Sailor are gonna take different amounts of time. I did a survey of like five or six of them, and I tended to find that the average projected course length was more in like the 30 hour range, which is just gonna be like a week and a half of studying for three hours a day, and that the Business 101 at 62 hours was actually pretty long compared to most of them. Of course, if you already know the content in most of these, you can skim through the course material really quickly and then just go take the test. In fact, if we take a look at unit one in the Intro to Business course, uh, we have a bunch of different sections, things they want you to do. You can just mark them as completed if you already understand that topic well enough. Might be worth it to still skim through. Um, then at the very end of this unit, there is a practice assessment, uh, which I think they want you to complete, but it doesn't actually count towards your final grade. It's just for practice. So then the big question, how do I get college credit for this? Well, Sailor has partnered with the American Council on Education. A lot of colleges listen to ACE and respect what they say about what should be worth college credit. They have worked with ACE to be able to get some of their courses recommended for college credit. So you can see here, um, we have quite a few, um, including a lot of business courses, communications, computer sciences, economics, math, physics, political science, um, a lot of different things that are recommended officially by the American Council on Education for credit. Now, some of those recommendations 
um, will expire and so you want to earn the credit before then but a lot of those will probably get renewed so then the final question how do i actually get college credit for doing these as you can see sailor has built partnerships specifically with a lot of colleges around the country. Some of these names you'll probably recognize. Charter Oak used to be one of the big three hackable colleges. Same with Excelsior. Uh, Colorado State University Global, you've probably seen ads for them. Florida International University is a big one. Um, what else do we have here? A lot of smaller schools. Purdue Global uh, is one of the biggest hackable schools. Same with Southern New Hampshire University. Thomas Edison is still a really hackable school. And then we have WGU. Some of these schools, you will see that they they list the correlations here on the website. Like with Thomas Edison, they just give it away. Um, with WGU, I'm glad I clicked on this one because this will be a little bit further down the rabbit hole. Um, if you go to here where they're talking about partners on their website, and let's go to College of Business, and let's pick uh, Finance. They will have a listing here of which Sailor credits will help you earn requirements in their degree. So if you're doing WGU, you can see that there are a lot of Sailor credits that will apply directly to that degree. And you can earn a lot of your WGU degree just with Sailor Academy courses. And WGU, Thomas Edison, the rest of these guys that I just showed you are only some of the schools that will accept Sailor ones. In fact, they're just the schools that have a distinct built partnership with Sailor. You can always take Sailor courses, transfer your, to your school, or call up the advising department or admissions department and ask them if they'll take Sailor Academy courses as well. Or you could just set up a consultation with me and my team. We'd be happy to help you incorporate Sailor courses, Sophia courses, CLEP credit, and all other manner of college alternative credit into your degree plan so that we can get you graduated quickly and inexpensively so that you can build a career that you love. If you're interested, the link is in the description. Thank you very much for watching and happy hacking.